हेलो फ्रेंड गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर होस्ट खान बाबा टू डेज फिफ्थ ऑफ फै मंडे मॉर्निंग गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट दिन आर सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर स्पोर्टिंग and now let's start that today information they are saying the cbi has released rates to the government of iraq and iraq has released those to all the central banks in the world including the us and that everything is locked and loaded that is the chatter auctions are not about dumping the dollar currency auctions are held for a reason they take the us dollar and sell them to banks and exchange for foreign currency That's how they're able to build up their foreign currency reserves to 115 billion dollars. Not only that but it helps stabilize the Iraqi dinar exchange rate against other foreign currencies. This isn't about proof they're dumping the dollar. This is not about de-dollarization. Imposing sanctions on Iraqi banks would undermine and obstruct the steps taken by the central bank to adjust the stability of the dollar exchange rate and reduce the selling gap between the official and parallel rates. The truth finally comes out. This is what is causing the inability of the CBI to take the necessary steps to adjust the stability of the dollar exchange rate. If they the CBI did this diversification it would adjust the parallel market rate very quickly and then The Central Bank of Iraq is done with the constant meetings to get the monetary reform education out because the campaign was started and it's doing very well. Redemption centers are ready. The rates have been coming up on the screens of banks and redemption centers. They are significantly higher at the redemption centers than the banks. And I think you guys will be more than pleased. I think Iraq is finally getting it. What is safe in an international market going forward? They are finally listening to the World Bank and the IMF and not blowing them off. About time to get going in the right direction. Better late than ever. A lop is the removal and deletion of the zeros. There's no difference between them. It's removing the zeros off the currency. I've challenged all these people million times, show me proof. Show is an article where it says the deletion, removal or lopping of the zeros is coming off the exchange and not the actual currency. They stop short of telling us what came of the oil and gas law today. Why? One reason would be that there is exchange rate sensitivity with respect to the law. An exchange rate to be one that is stronger than the dollar per al-Sadani will help largely in that regard. So, yesterday they were focusing on the importance of this law and with urgency. A very good sign. The difference is that here in the US I have to do everything electronic where my friends in Iraq Their banks can do it electronic or physically if they want the lower denims and coins in their hands. Thank and take care.